Zimbabwe's leader, President Emerson Nangagwa, will join other heads of state and government at the United Nations headquarters in New York for the UN General Assembly, which kicks off today. Our President Nangagwa is expected to leave the country for New York tonight. And the General Assembly kicks off with a review of implementation of the 2030 Agenda and its 17 Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. Now, world leaders will also engage in the annual high-level general debate under the theme Rebuilding Trust and Reigniting Global Solidarity, Accelerating Action on the 2030 Agenda and its Sustainable Development Goals towards Peace, Prosperity, Progress and Sustainability for All. A high-level dialogue on financing will also be held on the heels of the SDG Summit. Alongside the SDG Summit, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres will convene the Climate Ambition Summit with a call on every leader from governments, business, cities and regions, civil society and financial institutions to step up. It's been seven years since Zimbabwe and other member states of the United Nations have a pledge to achieve these 17 sustainable goals by 2030. Now, the goals are aimed at reducing poverty and promoting sustainable agriculture, among other objectives. Our progress on attaining these goals so locally and on a global level has been very slow. Now, this came out during an SDG exhibition in Harare today, where several organizations and government departments took part part in the exhibition to showcase their efforts towards achieving sustainable development goals. More from this report. Seven years after the pledge, only 12% of the sustainable development goals are on track. And sadly, progress on over 30% of them has regressed. This is according to the latest Sustainable Development Goals Progress Report. Humankind has been faced with the triple challenges of climate change, conflict, and also of recent COVID-19. As a nation, we still face some starting challenges. The inequality gap, which is also widening. Millions are still in need of food and water. In the recent past, we have noted that we are not spared from natural disasters such as drought, cyclone, and also uh, the pandemic COVID. Our three more deputy ministers were sworn in earlier today by De President Nangagwa at a state house in Harare. The three are deputy minister of mines, are Polite Kambamura, Home Affairs Deputy Minister Chido Sanyatwe, and the Deputy Minister of Industry and Commerce Roy Bila. Ward 1 councillor Peter Pirato Mafuta has been elected mayor unopposed and he takes over from the outgoing mayor, councillor Munyara Zichitsunge. Uh, Mafuta will be deputized by Ward 6 councillor John Manatsa, who takes over from outgoing councillor Agnes Torre, who represented the same ward in 2018. Now, the two were elected earlier today during the town's first full council meeting after the August 23 harmonized election. In some sad news, uh, four people are still missing after a boat capsized on Lake Kariba on a Saturday. As in Park's uh, spokesperson, Mr. Shinashe Farah, said search and rescue efforts were underway, although the four were feared dead. Um, various teams from uh, different government departments are currently uh, uh, in Kariba searching for the four uh, missing uh, people who went missing after the boat they were traveling in capsized on 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 on, on saturday our uh, investigations are in progress we want to find out in order to find out what could have caused this 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 accident kenya punched their ticket to the 2024 paris olympic games after stunning favorite south africa 17 at 12 in the paramount garments rugby africa men's sevens final at harare sports club on sunday uh, with the victory the shujas of kenya were also crowned african champions for the sixth time they will now make their third straight olympic appearance having previously featured at the 2016 and the 2020 olympic games a 
Kenya co-captain Vincent Onyala was delighted with his team's success given that they were in the early stages of rebuilding a process following their relegation from the World Rugby 7 Series last season. Yes. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm super happy. Uh, we had planned this one and uh, we are lucky for the boys. The boys stood out uh, having six rookies joining the team and giving an outstanding performance. It's a great stellar performance to them. And I'd like to dedicate this victory to our winger, uh, Patrick Odongo. Wow, there we go, there we go. <laughs>